Well, uh, the big story that we got to talk about, because it's everywhere. Oh, man, I hope this isn't what I think it's going to be. George W. Bush dead. Oh, oh, oh. He did. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, you found a... Oh, no. I, I, I haven't read many articles like this about yeah, I, uh, mainstream media. I, uh, <laughs> I went out of my way to find a negative article. <laughs> there were a few. Well, George H.W. Bush. Him, even if they hate him, shouldn't they be happy he's dead at least? 1924 to 2018. American war criminal. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. There's not, this is actually mostly just a podcast that we're not going to listen to because it's like an hour and 20 seconds. I minutes, like but. that. The first line line of this though yeah the united states is now in the midst of a grotesque canonization of one of its imperial saints george herbert walker bush that's a great sentence this week on intercepted an honest memorial service for an unrepentant warmonger (laughs) who dedicated his life to militarism war coups regime change and the lies of american exceptionalism Jeremy Scahill details the crimes of Bush, the sick propaganda of the corporate media memorials, and the trail of blood, death, and tears Bush leaves behind. Independent journalist Aran Gupta uh, covers, or probably Aaron, I don't know, covers decades of Bush. (laughs) Bush. Decades of Bush. Ooh, damn. From his time at the helm of the CIA to the presidency, Gupta discusses Bush's support for Manuel Noriega, and his eventual invasion of Panama, the pardoning of Iran-Contra criminals, the dirty wars in Central America, the support for Saddam Hussein, and the launch of the Gulf War. Acclaimed Iraqi poet and scholar Sanan Atun describes his life under the U.S.-backed dictatorship of Saddam, the horrors of the Gulf War, and how Bush's you know destruction what? of Iraqi <laughs> civilian society led to the rise of ISIS. You know what, dude? Let me just have a fucking response to this fucking liberal propaganda you just fucking read, TJ. Show. And I'll fucking tell you what. This sounds like a bunch of naive liberal bullshit. This goddamn nation, TJ, is a strong country. And you want us to just sit back in the world? And look, TJ, sometimes you got to make bad deals with bad people. The world isn't just a bunch of sunshine and rainbows. We just talked about that. We just talked about these SJWs living in a fucking fantasy, TJ. This man had to fucking be the head of a fucking giant, powerful nation. Every decision he makes sometimes, people fucking die, TJ. <coughs> what are you going to fucking do? These liberals just want to fucking sit back and go like, well, no one can ever get hurt in reality. They're not in the fucking real world, TJ. So, you know, you know he might have done some things that are quote unquote bad, but he did it to keep us safe, TJ, and to keep us free and to make this country a little bit better, TJ. And to make some, a lot of money and make, for and, him and his friends. <laughs> what well, are you talking about, Paul? You know another thing? Look, Paul. You hate success now? You hate success, Paul? I mean, I mean, like, (laughs) even as you're doing your uh, your little spiel there, I mean, I can kind of sympathize with that perspective to an extent. But the problem is that the media is like fawning, just fawning, worshiping. George W. Bush is dead. You know what the media story was before? (laughs) It was remember. remember Oh, he's so dead. The, the, the last media stories, that last time anyone gave a shit about him before Barbara died. Yeah. They gave a fuck about him then because she's like, she's dead. And so it was another big, ooh, she's dead. It's so sad. But before that, it was, he patted a woman's bottom. Oh, yeah, that's he true. Was, he was an old groper. You know what? You know, you know what? <laughs> you get I lynched. forgot about that. And you, yeah, know, you, and, and you know what? You, and you don't hear about it in that now? Zip. Not nothing. A, nothing. Now he was, he was a great man. Here, here's the thing with Bob Dole, like that, raising Bob Dole's corpse up just to do him. It's like, I ah, so, you know. You know, and then everyone loved him, and it's fucking so great because you know. Oh, you want to hear? You want to? Okay, you want to see an example? This is the most over the top example I could find of the level of ridiculous, like tribute, insane praise. Check this out. (laughs) Let me get through this without you guys laughing. All right, let me just read the headline. All right. Historian John Meacham delivers stirring eulogy at George H.W. Bush's funeral, a 20th century founding father. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) I don't even make any sense, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, out of everybody that lined up at the casket to deep throat old George H.W. Stiffy, dude. As Meacham honored Bush's military service and joked about Dana Carvey's SNL impressions, he called the former president... America's last great soldier statesman, a 20th century founding father. 
He spoke of how Bush entered the political arena to continue. I mean, whatever. I mean, I just that's just the line. It doesn't really matter what else this guy said. Just the fact that Bush just being slipped in is like he's like practically a founder. He's you know when I think George H W Bush, I think like he's on that Jefferson level. He's on that Hamilton level. He's on that Washington level. He's up there with the fucking heavy hitting greats. Yep, a one term president. Oh, you know what they were saying too? He's like, he's one of the most significant one term presidents we ever had. Pro- wow. Probably the most significant. Yeah. <laughs> That's like being the smartest retard in class. <laughs> like, <laughs> of all the people that the American people decided they didn't want again after four years, he was the best. He was one of the, one of the okay ones. He's one of the least bad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we got more. Don't worry. Don't you worry your fucking sweet ass. We got more. Listen to this. I thought we'd. Uh, before we actually look at some stuff that matters, I thought we'd take a look at um, some conspiracy shit. This is someone named Liz Crokin, who I guess is relevant. Okay. Uh, re- he's relevant enough for Right Wing Watch to cover them. Uh, she says that he was, uh, he, didn't, he didn't die, he was executed, which I guess <laughs> that, week, I don't know 100% how that's exclusive, but whatever. The Department of Justice. Justice. Is going to talk about their findings into the Clinton Foundation probe. It was leaked on Friday. Yeah, I can see why this is a notable figure. That Hoover has... It was leaked um, on, like, uh, <clears throat> Friday. Been talking to Clinton Foundation whistleblowers. <clears throat> the hearing that goes down this week on December 5th, which happens to be General Flynn's birthday. Happy birthday, General Flynn. There's you wore, you chance. you indicted and yeah. admitted conspirator to influence our elections. Happy exposed. birthday! Happy uh, birthday! If you believe the official version of events, Paul. For sure, I'm praying that will be the case. But whether it happens on the fifth, or in a week, or three weeks, it's happening, and it's no coincidence that George Senior died. And by the way, he didn't die; he was executed. He didn't die. He didn't He die. was executed. This it, is why. It, it That's died. the greatest quote of all time. He didn't die. He didn't die, dude. He didn't die. He was executed. He was executed. Which I believe when you were executed, I think you also die at the same time. I, dude, this is like one of those people. Yeah. Look, I don't under Like when someone who's young and vivacious and shit what? suddenly dies under strange circumstances, I can understand when people are like, there's a conspiracy. But George W. Bush, H.W. Bush, the last few times we've ever seen him, he's just been in a wheelchair, head down, eyes closed. Did he suffer from a form of Parkinson's? Or right. He did? So he's dead. I mean, like, he's 94. Who looks at that? And see, he was 94 years old. He's wheelchair ridden. His wife just died recently. He's looked horrible for years now to the point where. I, I was I even asked like I remember a few months ago I was like, "Hey, did George H. W. Bush is he is he still alive?" And so I was like, "Yeah, he's still alive." Oh, okay, because I just kind of assumed like, "Yeah, he's he's dead or he's knocking on fucking well, heaven's because door." Because he's been in a bad way for a long time, right? So it's not like he's making a lot of public appearances with a blanket on his lap. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> dude, he was he, he's no like fucking what's his name like Kirk. My Douglas groping or hand like ain't. What it used to be. <laughs> Boy, I wish I could squeeze those buns like I used to. Could you just do I me mean, a favor and kind of set it on years. there like, oh, shit. I but, mean, he wasn't doing shit. I mean, at this point in his life, he just sat around his house. That's all he was able to do. I got to tell you, it, like, and I'm going to be called a misogynist for that. Can you X out of this stupid bar that's covering her face? Because I want, I want people to be able to see her face. Like, look, I'm going to be called a misogynist for this. I mean, rightfully so. But, but there are dudes that fit this same description. There are some people, you can just look at them, and you know that they have nothing of import to say, and they have no original thoughts, and she's one of them. Like, I, you didn't even have to hit play for me to know that what was going to come out of her mouth was going to be vapid, puddle-deep, insipid nonsense, 
And sure enough, it was. Like, why was that? Why, as soon as her face came up, was I like, well, this is going to be intolerable garbage. And it was. Well, it's one of those people that you can tell them about something and they would just believe it. Like, there's no research, no evidence is necessary. It's like, I go to Facebook, my Facebook group, and I hear a bunch of horrible shit that's going on in the world, and I just believe it. And that's it. There's there's no sort of like critical thinking about. Right, like, but I have yet to hear either true. one of you with all your criticism. I hear either one of you refute the statement, that which was, is what he died. He didn't died. He was executed <laughs> because it's a patently false, absurd statement. A malformed question. All right. Well, let's hear. Let's hear more. Then you guys think you're so smart. Play, he was bitch. Executed. So the tide has turned, you guys. The Q movement is unstoppable. The, the Q movement? The, frenzy, the cabals the frenzy. They're all panicking. 100 military police members were just sent to Gitmo. They're deployed for a year there. The Pentagon just released guidelines on transferring prisoners to Guantanamo Bay. The writing is on the wall. This is happening. Q talks about it. I've been talking about it. Nothing is going to stop these arrests from happening. Nothing. So this is just what your is standard, standard like babbling bullshit. I don't even dude. know anymore. FEMA camps. It's going to happen. Yeah. So that it's every, con- I mean like every conspiracy fucking nut you've ever heard. The big thing where the government does the big evil plan is coming. It's right around the corner. It's about to happen. You guys. Yeah. It's real this time. It's real. I uh, remember like the last 947 times when we said it was coming and then it didn't. Well, this time it's different. It never ends me. Anyway, I <laughs> just want to show you this that, regard. That like pukey pastel modern art behind her colored my opinion real well too. That was a good little piece of data. Yep. That was no good. All right. So you guys ready to fucking feel the emotion? The emotion? The emotion. George W. Bush. Uh, Tearful. TJ, how, how could you pu- actually fucking cue this up and have no tissues available? Man, I am going to cry. If he cries, I'm going to cry. W crying. Let's see. I don't want to see W in cry. In his address, the 41st President of the United States said this. You know what makes it even harder, dude? We Knowing that he, he, didn't, he wasn't dying. Why he is was- Bill Clinton a fish now? Why was he all like me? Uh, 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 it's even harder right mouth now. Mouth breathing, slack jawed motherfucker. Good. I mean, and look, he's obviously playing along with it because he's panicking because he's one of the elites. That his dad wasn't died; he was executed, dude. Yeah, it's even harder. To How come? Do this. I can't believe his own son doesn't have the balls to come up on stage and be like, "Listen, y'all, my dad did not die; he was executed." <laughs> <laughs> Children, a bigger car, a bigger bank account. We must hope to give them a sense of what it means to be a loyal friend, a loving parent, a citizen who leaves his home, his neighborhood, and town better than he found it. What do we want the men and women who work with us to say when we are no longer there? (laughs) (laughs) Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. It gets better. Check this out. (laughs) Oh, my God, dude. Oh my God! Trump so clearly does not want to be there. Everyone else is like, "That's nice, dude." He looks like a little kid in timeout, dude. He does. You gotta it. sit on the naughty chair for five Donald, whole minutes, young man. You will go to the funeral, Donald. Oh, no, I shit. won't. I'm not going to the funeral. You're going. All right, I'll go. <laughs> I mean, everyone else there looks like they look like they're listening. I mean, look, Obama, like, he's like, Obama's like, oh, I'm listening. This is nice. And Bill's like, I'm listening to this. Dude. All right. And Jimmy Carter's just like, yeah. I'm alive. Jimmy, like, even <laughs> you know? Jimmy, like, even Jimmy Carter manages to look like he's Engaged. okay with being there. <laughs> Only Trump can't pull it off. Yeah, and, and Jimmy Carter has to be burdened with the fucking knowledge of, well, I'm next. Yeah, <laughs> you know? This is exactly what it's going to look like when they do this for me <laughs> in about 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and even he's keeping it together. Oh uh, yeah, he's he's cool as a cucumber. Look at him over there; he's having a good time. <laughs> Mouth breathing. Bill is looks like I mean it's hard to tell with him anymore whether he's having a good time or a bad one. Well, he's next to Hillary, so definitely a bad one. <laughs> Wait a minute, did Bill fart? Look at look at the yeah. shell. 
Michelle looks like she just caught a whiff of some stank. Maybe Michelle's broken up about <laughs> HW, dude. <laughs> you think Trump was mad he had to sit in the same bench but Trump with Hillary? Just, I mean, like, you know dude, why Trump hates this, too? Because this is a picture with Hillary, dude. He knew he had to be in a fucking goddamn photo op with fucking Hillary. Oh, dude. Basically. Yeah. Like, look at, look at fucking Melania's body language being next to Trump, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything is about, like, I wish I could crawl into Barack Obama's lap right now <laughs> to get away from this stinky, putrid sack of shit sitting next to me. Yeah, look at it. Her, the leg, she's, she's angled away she's, from him. She's angled away. Her leg next to him is the one she crossed. Her hands are folded Her as hands are folded on the other side of him. Like, as everything as about her be. is avoiding yeah, him. Yeah, everyone else is yep. sitting normally. Like, Bill and Hillary, they're sitting pretty normally. Jimmy Carter, they're sitting, he's sitting normally. <laughs> well, they just prop Bill up now. So, <laughs> like, sitting normally next to him just requires... Yeah, they just got a broomstick up his... <laughs> back keep him upright god love him i can't wait for his one of these man that's gonna be a good day national blow job day yeah, dude. bill clinton to commemorate you know bill like Thank we're bill. gonna get some great old retrospective films of him playing the sax and being cool old <laughs> bill and not this old dried up vampire that we see sitting in front of us oh yeah that's true he used to be cool yes. or that we stopped to ask if a sick child had gotten better and stayed a moment there to trade a word of friendship. Well, Dad, we're going to remember you for exactly that and much more. Dad. And we're going to miss you. Your decency, sincerity, and kind soul will stay with us forever. So through our tears, let us know the blessings of knowing and loving you, a great and noble man, the best father a son or daughter could have. <laughs> Oh, I know, right? Man. W got teared up, dude. dude. I know, right? I know he's a horrible, yeah, war I mean, like, mongering bastard that one presided over millions yeah, of deaths. You know? But god damn it, I don't like Shucks. seeing him like this, yeah, man. You know, it's Shucks, like, G swell. God, you just want you just want GW to be firing off his guns in the air and dude, go, I, woo, dancing around. I was just overwhelmed. I'm a war criminal, y'all. Boom, boom. I was just Look overwhelmed at the evil shit with I did. the desire to reach through that screen and give him a big old hug right <laughs> yeah. now, man. Oh, it's it's like, KW. And it's like, okay, it's one fucking war criminal piece of shit praising another war criminal piece of shit. But, you know, you still got that human emotion of like, my dad, yeah, my dad and dad. <laughs> it's like, aw. Oh, W. Man. Man. That sucks. Ugh. Anyway, so there's that. And uh, mostly notable for Trump's fucking... Uh, <laughs> Oh, demeanor. Man. Oh, I can't believe I have to go to this. All right, so hey, Scotty, you were talking about this earlier, uh, how you think Trump just didn't want to be there with the Clintons. Maybe there's something to that. At George H.W. Bush's funeral, Trump and Clintons did not shake hands. No shit. Um, he did. Sh- there was an awkward handshake with uh, Obama and stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, but no, no, oh, nothing did, for the Clintons. Any, can we see that, dude? I don't know. What is this right here? I don't know if this is it or It'd be not. Funny if we could see his awkward fucking artificial dude, because fucking Trump always has the most awkward them. fucking handshakes, dude. Trump is such an awkward fuck because he's probably got like these tiny little damp hands. You know what I mean? I mean, but but it's like, dude, like that's why I think Trump has this hyper focus around him. So I know people like were looking for these things, but I mean, he's just weird. He like, is awkward. It's because like, he never had to actually be a normal human being in his entire life, so he doesn't walk and talk and act like one. He doesn't. He like has like this like weird gait, and he's like the way he, he he's handsy with people. Like he'll touch them in weird the ways. Was here. Let's listen in as he makes his way up the aisle with the first lady Melania. Let's Trump. see. Trump's like, how fast should I walk? All right, so here he is. Take my coat. <laughs> Take my, <laughs> oh my coat, God, serviceman. Dude. Wow, he gives his coat. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't I, know. Maybe that's I what you're supposed that's to do. I don't know. For the chorus here. I don't know. It seemed a little weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Clinton's just. Oh, dude, they didn't even look. I mean, Bill's head kind of lulled to the side a little bit, so I think he might have been Hillary, aware. Hillary, is, Hillary refuses to even look in and that Hillary direction. Hillary is stone faced. She's just like amazing moment right there, Martha. Absolutely. If you think about, um, he didn't shake Carter's hand either, though. The first president, but then oh, he's all the way at the end, president dude. Obama next to President Trump, who had just completed this midterm election where President Obama was on the campaign trail. Vigor- Hillary's just like, 
I'm not looking over there. I'm okay. not looking Trump's over like there. Trump's like a fidgety little fuck. They got Mike Pence behind him. Is like he's like just sitting there, like no- almost everyone else there is like sitting there, like normal, like a normal person. When Trump's like fidgeting, oh, right, dude, here. I wish Hillary would just fucking look at him and make just unbroken eye contact of just like. <laughs> he would. <laughs> I want to see him just get uncomfortable as she will not stop staring. He would just. Oh, dude. Oh, man. That would be a beautiful moment. <laughs> but instead, it's typical Hillary. I'd also love it if Stone Face looking straight forward. Who's that? Is that Roger Stone behind the president? No, that's Pence. That's Pence. Pence. Pence has got to ride shotgun. He doesn't get a front row. Yeah, he's vice. He's VP. He's got to ride shotgun, though. Yeah. Damn. They could have at least put him at the front of a different row. Yeah. You know? <laughs> You gotta Don't sit. make him be sniffing Trump's I mean, like, think about this. He's got to look at the back of Trump's fucking head know, and just sit there and wonder about that hair. <laughs> what a view. What a distraction. Uh, damn, dude. They should create a booth just for Trump so that <laughs> people can enjoy things without being distracted by his weirdness and his creepiness. Yeah, dude. He needs to just like his own little booth. He'd probably like it, too, because he could just be on his phone in there during this. They could just call it, like, the big boy booth. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> come here, Don. The best booth. Donnie, come here. You're the king. You get the big throne seat. <laughs> now, Mr. President, would you like to sit on one of these hard wooden chairs with the rest of the people, or there's the best booth up top, <laughs> and it's got a, a pane of glass that you can see out of, but nobody can see in? Oh, yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we need to do, start doing ourselves a favor nationally with this. So I guess this was fine. I don't mind a war criminal's funeral being interrupted by the hilarity of one of his prede- predecessors or antecessors, I guess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>